Hey there, my name is Mr. Nowak, and uh, I've been busy with a 3D printer. Let me show you what I've been up to. Now, this little gadget here is the MoFlow 1.0. That's right, version 1.0. And uh, this is a camera stabilizer for video. Uh, and the MoFlow, the name comes from Movie and Flow. Now, this is quite a common thing on the internet, a do-it-yourself sort of stabilizer because um, the Merlin Steadicam retails for $800, I think. And this certainly did not cost me $800 to build. Now, yes, my design is based on the basic principles of the Merlin, as are many of the other examples you'll find on the internet. Um, I've got an arm in the top, I've got an area here where I can adjust the settings, a lower arm with weight, a handle, a gimbal, and a stage to attach the camera to. Now, the nice thing about this design is, I mean, it's all printed out of plastic, all the parts were made on the UP 3D printer, um, and everything else is just off-the-shelf parts that you would get from your hardware store. Half inch aluminum rod, some quarter inch uh, bolts, um, here and here, um, larger half inch bolt at the bottom and some 7 16 washers to add for weight and balance. Now, before I get too ahead of myself, the difficult thing you're going to find with these steady cams is um, very difficult to balance and also difficult to use. Okay, you're not just going to buy the steady cam Merlin for $800, take it out of the box, and make magical movie shots with it. It does take some technique. A lot of people are getting frustrated with these because, first of all, they can't balance it correctly. And even once they get, the ba get it balanced, they're not able to really get the shots. Now the trick is, you know what, I don't really know all the tricks yet. I'm still quite new to this, but based on all of the things I've read, technique does involve some use of the thumb to control the panning motion of the camera. Okay, When I use this and I want to turn a corner, Okay, you'll notice that it doesn't really turn with my wrist. Okay, I can make this motion side to side, back and forth, turn sideways so you can see here. The camera is going to stay relatively balanced. Okay, I can make front to back, side to side, and if you've got it balanced perfectly, camera should reset itself. I've got a tiny, tiny little bit of sway to the side, but again, once I start to set up my shots, I'm going to want to position my thumb to help control the rotation of that, especially if I want to shoot a shot where I'm going to be going around the corner. Okay, I'm going to be showing you a few test shots that I've made with this. Um, great example. <coughs> Examples of going up the stairs. I'm going to even run with this thing so you can see what kind of shots we can achieve. Again, if you're going to go down this avenue, keep in mind there's a lot of information out there. There's a lot of tricks and tips to balancing this thing. There's a lot of physics involved. You can get into some really deep stuff. I found some crazy articles. My best advice with this thing is trial and error. Okay, As you can see on this device, I've got the trim rollers here, okay? So this is going to allow me to change the position of the handle um, front and back, okay? The other trim roller is going to allow me to position the handle from side to side. Depending on the camera that you've mounted on this, there's going to be a different balance point, okay? So what you've got to do, if I look at this, I'm going to take the, the mounting plate off here, okay? You'll notice underneath that I've got a number of different holes I can choose. We want to try and balance the camera up that we're using. The other thing you'll notice is a lot of these handy cams you're going to get, again this is just a cheap Canon Vixia 
$250 camera. <clears throat> Most of them have these flip out things on the side, which uh, invariably are going to affect the balancing of your, your camera, the stabilizer, the whole thing. Um, the other thing I can do, uh, you know, if you look closely at this, I've basically got the camera mounted all the way to the front. Okay, if I basically um, show you here, I've got this little gear plate, okay, I can change the position of the camera. Again, this will help me in balancing if I need to. I can also, like I showed you before, you have all of those different holes that you can mount the camera on. Okay, I prefer to try and balance this with the plate pushed all the way to the front. Okay. Um, again, you might, something like this, there's a lot of different cameras out there. Again, I find from what I've read, that's the frustration people are having with these things, is that they see somebody on YouTube and they've balanced their specific camera, they might have bought the same model. Again, there are some cheaper versions. Um, you know, you don't have to buy the Merlin for 800 bucks. There's some in the neighborhood of 150, 200, 300 dollars. But if you're using a different camera, again, you might get that thing out of the box and just be frustrated. Again, people think that this thing is just going to be magical and easy to use. It's not. There's some learning curve. What this will do is give you some great shots, though, if you really take the time and have the patience to set it up properly. And the nice thing about this one is, it's all printed on the UP 3D printer. Um, it's kind of all I have to show you about this. Again, I'm not going to change the adjustment here right now. I've got this nice and level. I'm going to go do some test shots to show you. Okay. If I wanted to try a different camera, again, I've got the ability to change the angle of these by loosening these knobs and retightening. The other thing I want to show you quickly is this handy little section at the back. I've got the ability to slide this off. And if I were using a heavier camera, I could put in a longer bolt here and add additional washers, okay, basically by sliding that piece out. And then I can lock that back on. I also have the option to add weight here on the front, which is similar to the Steadicam Merlin, okay? Well, um, it's kind of all I have to say about my design so far. Um, again, this is the MoFlo 1.0. It's kind of doing a great job for me so far. Expect to see the MoFlo 2.0 in the future.